competitors up to bat. We're going to have Eon versus Prodigy. Mm -hmm. the one Prodigy. Of, we got the, the Mario back out, of course, rocking that wedding Mario attire as well. Going to go up against the Persona King himself, the Bandit Thief Man, Joker. Yeah, I didn't realize Eon was actually playing quite a bit more Joker. I know he was, you know, the Fox, the Pichu, and, you know, with the Pichu nerds, like he and Void and a lot of other Pichu mains kind of figuring out, you know, what, what do I want to do now? Mm -hmm. you know, this character doesn't kill as easily. What is something that is kind of to my skill set and that can allow me to kill when I need it? You know, Joker fits just that. It's because those highly technical players, they get rewarded with regular Joker, and then when it gets to the 70, 80% range, just like this. Big Brother Arsene comes out. Those back airs, those smash attacks. <laughs> it's like, oh, they're going to hit hard. Are you in good hands? <laughs> man, that's crazy. I love that extension we actually saw from Prodigy there. Um, was able to read an air dodge and fall through the platform and get an up air to punish it and just extend it into so much damage, which led to Arsene coming out there. But uh, looks like he didn't do much because he already saw himself on the way out. Prodigy with a pretty clean lead thus far. Yeah, all he needed was Ooh. an up smash to Ooh. clean it up. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, I mean, here on Pokemon Stadium, going against the Mario here, it is actually very scary. Just because you get hit by an upper on that platform, you're most likely losing that stock. Yeah, he's definitely uh, no stranger to carrying people off the top. And it's like that he's so Ooh. easily baiting out these defensive responses mm -hmm. from Eon. He'll go for an up air, wait for the air dodge. For the up air, we saw the Rebels Guard come out. Easy punish on that as well. Eon's going to want to try to pick something a little different. He's going to go for defensive options every single time. Maybe it's time to just strike back. Uh-oh, the falling upper not going to connect the way that he wanted it, oh. but he's still going to live. The up smash is just a tiny bit scaled, just enough for him to not lose the stock, but the third one is going to be it. Yeah, just enough steel in the noggin right there, taking him right to the skies. We saw he's been very comfortable noticing whenever Eon does something unsafe on shield, punishing it with that up smash out of shield. There goes that down air. Ooh, so close to getting that pivot grab, not quite going to find the mark. Caping that away, get that on my face. I like that recovery as well. You can see he fades back a little bit, knowing the aerial gun's coming, and then jumps up, hits them with that immediate super jump punch. Okay, slick grab coming off from Eon. Not going to be enough to take away the stock, but here you have Prodigy sitting at 174, 191, finally to take away that stock with Flambo. That might be a little bit too late. Might be. <laughs> It is far gone. Look, man, it's our job to put some <laughs> hope in these players. Well, they, they, they got to give me <laughs> we hope can't, We can't be that biased. Come on, man. Because right, if you get in your... I mean, I can. Prodigy's from my region. His booty's getting slapped right now. <laughs> that, that's, all, that's all there is to say. Like, there isn't really even, much retaliation. They ain't even got singles. We can't do all that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to throw out. <laughs> Unfortunately for my man here, looking for something. You can see Prodigy already reading the defensive option once again. Running right forward, reading the roll into center stage and it's looking for that final hit. Eon needs to make something happen here. Has about half of Arsene's gauge left. Needs to find like super strong conversion off stage, a quick cheesy kill, and then, I don't know, man, really, really put the shoes on for the next stop. Yeah, but I mean, here on his last stock, he is surviving for quite a while. He might be able to go in and make this comeback if he can get this edge guard. Okay, just looking for that forward smash. A little bit too greedy. And Prozzi just jumping up, hits him with that back air to get game one. Yeah, and if there's anything I'd, I'd like to see from Eon a little bit, it's just make this a little bit more difficult for Prodigy to get these kills. Not to say that he's not doing a, a pretty good job of trying to extend his stocks as best as he can, but there are just moments where he goes for a hard re like a forward smash or, uh, uh, you know, something that is clearly going to get punished hard unless he gets the re correct. And of course, you know, you're in the last stock scenario, you need to make a comeback, you want to go for those big reads. But even before then, earlier on in the match, he found himself getting up smashed a lot for the exact same reason. No, definitely. I mean, it, it really just looked like Eon was starting to understand the match of what he needs to do against Prodigy on his last stock. It, it, it took him to get slapped up two times before it's like, all right, I need to not go here. I need to stop air dodging. And you know, I got to start sh shooting down some bullets. Like, wh what am I doing respecting disadvantage? Mm -hmm. I'm Joker. It's like it's Mario too, like he's still got the stubby limbs. Now granted, he does have that back air, which can be uh, quite a force to deal with. And oh my god, here we go, it's Town City Platforms. Oh, he's looking for the air dodge right there. I like that he actually double jumped because he would have found himself soaring to the danger zone. <laughs> hey, he was just a little bit too high to try to go ahead and get a falling up air. Neutral are not going to connect, but a dash deck sending Eon right back out. And back air so tricky to try to do it because it still can cross up your shield. And if you do not have a good out of shield option, mm -hmm. you're you're at a Mario's misery. Especially. Oh. 
okay, I like that. Just catches the jump with the full hop down air, just knowing exactly where Eon's gonna be. Eon, uh, just once again, it seems Prodigy just has the complete download of all the defensive options he's picking here. That's another down air catch. Oh, oh my god! Oh, hit him with the Sham Well! Seeing you, Jesus hit him with that Sham Well. Wow. <laughs> if you want to return on that stock, please send me back five payments in 1999. Send him on a red eye back home. That's unfortunate. Psych, that's actually super fortunate for Podgy as he's on the verge of a three stock right now. Looks like Eon trying to take one here, goes super deep for it. That's going to be the first confirmed, has almost a full R send, might be able to make something happen here, and that's a Ooh, great start. Okay. 28 off a gun mm -hmm. and a back air. Mm -hmm. Look, Joker okay. know to use that glock. Ooh. Oh, I'm safe. Oh, excuse oh. me, Eon! Waking up right there now. There we go. When I was saying, man, the players have to give me hope. That is the hope I needed. There we go. Arsene is gone, but he has done more than enough work to have me believe that he could potentially take this game here. That roll was accidental, though. Definitely looking to dash back and grab. All right, up air, back air. Mm -hmm. Speaking of back airs, the dagger coming out to slice Prodigy back into the corner. Prodigy, I mean, Eon has so much momentum on his side right now. Oh. Prodigy oh. needs to be careful. Has him in the left trap. Oh, another backer come out just in time. Can Prodigy get out of this corner? The accident. Oh, just one bullet for good measure. Can you get back to the Prodigy stage, my son? is just living on the left side of the stage right now. He did not see the middle of the stage for a good 30 seconds. Yeah, got at least like somewhat of like 50, 60% just by keeping them in the corner. That is the importance of ledge trapping and keeping your opponent in the corner, forcing them to pick an option and just scouting it out every single time. Now, this is as good as even. Arsene will be back any moment now. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it just takes one jab or a couple more hits from Eon, and that's going to be it. Arsene should be showing up after. Oh, no. Town throw, not enough still. Oh, there oh. he is. Oh. <laughs> he's like, I'm a whole oh, shield. He can feel the up smash coming. Oh, backer. All right, he had to put up that shield. Oh he God, knew. He is rolling up all smash around. not going to find the mark, but finally a backer connecting. Hits him with the flood. Down tilt. <sighs> Get up attack. Sniffed out up smash. That's all it takes. One mistake. I, I don't know what's up with Eon because <laughs> it took him the third stock each game to understand that so this is... This is how I want to play. <laughs> this is what I need to do. This uh, is actually really hard with the hat. No I know. Lie. I'm like, no, I, I'm, on, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. God. Yeah, you can't even tell what I am. So, guys, yeah, I'm a bat. I, know. It's, it's, I got glasses, too. Mm. So, it's like. I'm a bat, apparently. I'm a warrior I'm a bat. I'm a cat. Mm -hmm. Meow, I guess. Spider cat. What, what sounds do bats even make? Hold on. Don't they, like, screech? I don't know. Just think of, like, when you catch a zoo bat. Ree! No. <laughs> <laughs> It's a screech. <laughs> Pokemon sounds are all hella weird. It'll be like, <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> that floats your boat. Ooh. You're not baiting me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kira's costume is just killing me. He's, he's, the, he's the freaking anime bear. Yeah, he's like Rilakkuma, right? Mm. I think. 